Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. Happy, healthy, safe wherever you are in the world. I wanted to do this video because in light of what has happened with tier four people having no gyms, like my heart goes out to you. There was so much that was gone through to keep gyms there and it's yeah it is it's just it's just horrible so i want to help help out as much as humanly possible this workout that i'm doing today for you is a dumbbell only glute workout now it is from my dumbbell workout trainer that is going to be on the my coach school ready for the new year challenge hit the link below to enroll get your 50 percent off early bird discount make sure you are on that challenge ready for january so you can start your new year off on a positive note feeling amazing, feeling confident, having something to look forward to is a massive, massive thing, especially like with what is still going on like a year later. So the purpose of this workout is to replicate what you'd usually do in the gym and we're just bringing it home. Obviously the volume is gonna change a little bit. The sets and reps will increase because well, unless you have loads and loads of kit at home, but this is more so based for people who don't have massive amount of kit and can't be jumping around an apartment X, Y, and Z and who still want to maintain or build muscle. So this workout is very specific for those sort of people. And also you can do this in a gym. You can 100%, this doesn't just mean you have to do this at home. If you're in a different tier area or if you're in a different part of the world, have a go at this workout in the gym. If you want to replace the dumbbells with the barbells, please do so as well. It's completely up to you. So with my glute workouts, I will always include three different elements. So the first one is a horizontally based hip extension. So this is hip thrust and their variations. So barbell hip thrust, dumbbell, staggered, knee banded, single leg, glute bridges sometimes. And then also a hip hinge exercise. So my favorite is RDLs, like a sumo stance RDL, single leg RDL, barbell RDL, dumbbell RDL, and their variations. And then a knee extension exercise. So this could be a dumbbell step up. It could be a curtsy lunge. It could be a squat. So those three elements I will always include within my sessions. So squats, deadlifts and lunges are all vertically based hip extension exercises and they are absolutely fantastic. They are such great glute exercises. But by introducing a horizontally based hip extension exercise like hip thrust, hip thrusts I do believe are the best exercise for the glutes. It really, really will help progress and advance your glute development and glute training. This is why, and it is the same on Instagram, my glute sessions and my training in general is always quite a variety of exercises, but they're all very staple and basic exercises and they all follow the same movement patterns. I will always keep my compound lifts there. So my barbell hip thrust, my bench press, my squat, my deadlift, and RDL sometimes I'll work on my strength work. But in terms of the other elements of the session, I will add in different elements, a variety of different isolation movements that I can really feel. But without further ado, let's dive into the session. I am going to do a voiceover for you so I can give you technique points and cues for all the exercises. I think that's important as well when you are training at home to keep your mind ticking over and really, really engage with the muscle and mind to muscle connection when you're doing this workout. You can give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you for the workout. Your first exercise is dumbbell knee banded hip thrust for four lots of 15 reps. So Obviously, if you had a barbell, I wouldn't usually go into such a high rep range, but because we are training at home and I only have a 20 kilogram dumbbell, it just kind of makes sense to increase the volume. So with your hip thrust, same as always, what you wanna do is keep that chin tucked, gaze forward. As you can see, when I'm at full hip extension, so that's at the top of the movement, there's a 90 degree angle where my shins and my hamstrings are. And this is what you want to aim for to actually feel the exercise in your glutes. I've added a band to add a little bit more tension onto the glutes as well. So with the band, what you want to aim to do is push your knees to the side. This is just going to place double duty on the glutes just so you can feel it that little bit more. Also, just let you guys know that my booty loops are still in stock. There is not a mass amount of stock left. Obviously, with tier four happening in London, we are going to try and do a restock because absolutely amazing piece of kit to have at home, especially if like you don't have anything, like you don't have a dumbbell or long bands. And little resistance band will just get you by for a little bit and it's just going to increase that tension on your glutes. So get yourself a booty loop. Your next exercise is single leg hip thrust again for four lots of 15 reps per leg. So we are going for a little bit more high volume. You can add a dumbbell for weight if you want, but I find body weight just as sufficient when I am doing higher volume. So same principle as a normal hip thrust. Your first superset is 
L walks. So an L walk is a new exercise for me. And all you're doing, you're keeping your front foot facing forward and essentially making an L shape. So the foot that steps back, you want to externally rotate that foot. So that toe, so it's facing away from your body. Make sure you're doing wide stances as well to ensure that you are hitting your glutes sufficiently. As we are doing a superset here, you go straight into your next exercise, which is dumbbell frog pumps. Now, some people find frog pumps a little bit uncomfortable, but what I want you to do, the soles of your feet have to be facing each other, so they need to be touching. It's like you're doing a glute bridge, so you're going through the same movement pattern where at hip extension, you're going into a slight posterior pelvic tilt. So tucking that pelvis under, squeezing the glutes, but without hyperextending the spine, And I do find it easier to also keep my chin tucked like I would with a hip thrust or a normal dumbbell glute bridge. A staple and basic exercise here is the dumbbell sumo goblet squat. So what I want you to do is adopt a wider stance than usual and flare the toes out to the side. So you're externally rotating the feet. This is just so we can hit the glutes a little bit more. And as you can see, I am dropping quite deep into the squat, controlling the movement and keeping the knees pushed out. When you do lower into your squat, try and aim for your elbows to be on the inside of your knee before you actually extend. Your final exercise is a superset. So we have dumbbell sumo RDLs for 12 reps. These are probably one of my favorite glute exercises due to the high range of motion and how much I personally feel it in my glutes. So you're adopting a sumo stance, flaring the toes out to the side. And as you can see, it is a hip hinge movement. So pretend there is a wall behind you that you actually want your glutes to touch. So you can see side on here that I go horizontally backwards so it's not just a straight up and straight down movement and because it is an RDL we only have a slight bend in the knee we're not actually doing a squat movement we're not doing a full deadlift movement either drop your dumbbell for me and go straight into your lateral band walks for 20 reps so this is 10 reps per side I absolutely love lateral band walks I think they're a great exercise especially for the glute medius what you want to do is lean over slightly at the hip and ensure you are taking wide steps now the band position a lot of new research has stated you can put it down by your ankles to also increase the glute activation so give it a try but I personally really really like to have the band just above my my knee because that's where I feel the highest level of contraction make sure that you are stepping out with your knee and you're not just stepping out with your toe as well and we are finished I hope you enjoyed that workout guys and you find it valuable if you are training at home again if you're on to if you're in tier four this will be a super helpful workout for you and also the whole dumbbell trainer that I am currently creating and testing for you is going to be amazing link below for that so give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel let me in the comments below what you want to see and I'll see you in the next video bye guys